Hello everyone, Green Aragon here. Today I'm going to play I, Divine Cybermancy. Alright, so let's start this. Now, this game is, um, it's very interesting. It's a cyberpunk uh, first person RPG. And you, you can play this as an RPG more than an FPS, so... Another interesting thing about it is this game does not hold you by the hand. It doesn't really, you know, doesn't give you a point A to point B. It doesn't give you a pat on the head for doing things right. It just, uh, it's slightly different than what's currently out here. So I'm going to show you what this game looks like. I probably should have started the video after this part. Oops. Oh. Anyways, as I was saying, this game is not, you know. Ah, uh, there we go. As you can see, I already have a character, Ryan, level 16, but I'm not going to be. I'm going to create a brand new character, start the game over from the beginning. Um. So, who should we. Someone who I haven't, uh... J10. Let's, let's get J10 some, uh... Alright. Now. We are creating his character. Hacking Medicine Mental Balance. Strength and Endurance. Accuracy and agility. Cypher and mental balance. Oh, you get to create a create the your DNA. It's part of the character creation. Strength, endurance, and agility. Uh, I think this is what we're gonna go for. Although, I wanna see what else we got here. Cypher, endurance, and agility. Mark my accuracy, medicine, and healing. Metastream. Alright, so I think we're gonna go with Tepo, is it? Tepareth. Nope. Accuracy and agility. Gubara. Strength, endurance, and agility. Yeah, so I already know what I'm gonna do for J10. He's got all three genes are gonna be Gubara. So he's gonna be super awesome with that. Endurance, strength, and agility. And let's do genetic fusion a few more times, so we can get. He's not going to be. Uh, he's not going to be mentally balanced. Won't be good at hacking or medicine. I'm particular. Ooh, 51 agility. That's quite nice. Determines the speed of movement of the player as well as the speed of strikes in melee combat. Endurance is player resistance to hemorrhaging. And strength. Right. Okay. 51 agility. That's pretty damn good. I think I'll take this. Alright. Let us accept the character. So let's go ahead and start J10's adventures in I, Divine Cybermancy. You are in an odd place where dreams and reality intersect. If you step beyond the portal, the game resumes at the chapter at the mission where you stop, or you begin the campaign if it's the first time you play your character. If you log out and create a new character, stepping through beyond the portal will start a new game. Beginning of the first chapter. If you load an existing character, the game will resume where you stopped if you if you step beyond the port. Close this window, press the okay. Here we go. J Gun. Space Samurai. Mr. Venus. Aoi ryo keite ni ko faste pomi. Deja vu. Sorry about that, I, I got a phone beeping thing. So yeah, uh, as you can see the game just kind of starts. Doesn't really, uh... Doesn't really... This is J10. He is currently a tracker. Yes. 
Alright. Yeah, you have absolutely nothing except your sword. And it's got a demon eye in it. Anywho, let's go. We keep the moves at Sarah Facebook. Yes. As you can see, the game's gonna already start off with a little bit of intrigue. I really like this place, by the way, folks. It's very, uh, surreal and weird and trippy. Alright, it's time for J-Tent to wake up. Wake up. By the brave speeches, make the people believe they are free. Napoleon. Yeah, this game has a uh, little bits of uh, insight like that. So yes, you are about to see what this game is all about. It's weird, it's fun, it can be frustrating at times. It's definitely one to remember, probably. I hope this game does well. I, I bought it for uh, on the Steam Summer Sale, by the way, for like two or three bucks. So yeah, I've been super cheap this summer. Anyway, J10's adventure begins. And I mission objective. Mission objectives are displayed by triangles. Some need line of sight for you to see them. Mysterious. You wake up in a cave. Absolutely nothing for anything or anyone. Let us go then. Quick actions. Let's see. It's very mysterious and dark, folks. You wake up in a cave with amnesia. And there's probably some dudes. You wake up in a mysterious place. Amnesia. Alright, now we're getting somewhere, folks. We have a pistol, a holy pistol, as you can see, it's got a cross and everything. Oh, by the way, um, interesting fact. Yeah, this is a tutorial. Um, interesting fact. You are a, um, well, as you can tell by the name Divine. Like, uh, Cyberman, is it? You're a, uh, priest kind of thing, kind of character. You're part of this religious order. So, yeah. Alright, anyway, then. Let us continue, then. Crouching in this game is very slow, by the way. It slows you down to crawl, practically. Although, I do have increased speed, so... That's something. Wow, uh, this character is moving really fast. My other character is, uh, quite slow. Oh yeah, it's, it's, since you're a cyber human person, you're... You don't have to worry about breathing. That's kind of nice. And here's a flashlight, by the way, folks. Enemy is dead. You gain browsers. Oh, browsers, by the way, are the uh, in-game currency. These are the uh, demons, I guess we could call them. Oh, the game covers that later. Oh, here's a very interesting fact about this game in terms of ammunition. Um, you know how in most FPS shooters, you just take two or three shots and then reload? Absolutely, positively, will not get away with that here. No, sir. Cyber jump tutorial. Oh, whatever. I already know how to... Oopsie.
We all right. We should also turn this off after using it because it consumes energy. Anyways, um, in most shooters, you take one or two shots and then you reload. Here, if you reload, you'll you'll empty out everything that's in your card gun, and you'll use up a new clip, which I personally approve of. But anyways, let's go. Here are some friendly turrets. Your friends. What is this model? We stay gay. And off we go. All right. There's the elevator. Do do do. Lucky to survive that. Curses. Um, there is a ladder, but it's a long way up, folks. Long way up. Let's call the elevator back. Yeah, it's coming back. All right. Oopsie. I made this game go longer than it should. I was actually afraid I might have died. Alright, let's do this again. And here's one of your fellows now. You're in bad shape, brother. At least he finally found you. Bring me up to speed on the situation, Dutch. Listen carefully. You have to flee quickly in order to reach our agent at the extraction point. The Federation is aware of your presence, and they have already deployed police in to search for you. How many of them are there? Just a small squad for now, but don't underestimate them. They should also be a strong contingent of looters in the tunnel. You need to take out in order to reach the extraction point. Thanks, but those pigs don't scare me. I brought along a mobile armory with me. It's deployed and operational. Use it and then reach the extraction point. Wait, you're not coming with? I cannot. I must retrieve the evidence in the cave and unseal that place forever. I see. Good luck, Dutch. Good luck to you, brother. May the spirit of the secret to protect you. Okay. It is go time. Alright. Jaytan shall not be wearing heavy armor. Or medium. He should be wearing light. He needs to be fast. Why is that, you ask? Because... He is ninja. Just as a safety precaution. 
we'll give Jay Tan dual pistols. It'll be very dual. in case. Alright, let us accept this. Oh yeah. Gangster style. Hold oh, no. up. There we go. There are a number of uh, combinations you can try here. Well, this is the default side of here if you can't get rid of some reason. We can have one katana and one sword. We can have two guns. We can have one gun and one sword. Or we can have two swords. I do like the possibility of one katana and one weapon. Anywho. Yeah, the other game. Alright, race, race. We can't really do anything here at all. No 
research. Fatal wounds, none. Our camera's at 20. Not bad. Extraction. Alright, off we go. As you can see, the game doesn't really hold you by the hand. A lot of games, they have a tutorial kind of thing. It's like, you have to do this before you can move on. This game just throws you right into it. And you figure it out on your own, sucker. Oh yeah. Um, very interesting, very... Ah, the post-apocalyptic world. Dystopian futures. I'm not very sure how this whole dual wielding katana thing is going to turn out, but um, I guess we'll see. I'm going to enter the tunnels. Can't wait until I get something like night vision or something. Ooh, look at that lovely glowing green water. And there should be some looters in the area. This isn't working out as well as I'd hoped. Resurrector activated. Alright. Yeah, this isn't done. Uh, isn't quite the glorious.
Fault is to have faults and not amend them. Confucius. And we are about to enter the temple, ladies and gentlemen. It is an interesting place. This is your temple HQ. People you encounter here will be allied, so avoid being annoying. The same thing is true later in other places you encounter people with a triangle above their head, meaning they are friends. Be careful, don't shoot too fast when you see someone. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Although, well, hmm. Yeah, we shall stick with the duels. Okay. Iberias Polonium El Barai. Oopsie. How did you let yourself be defeated? You're supposed to be I elite. I'm sorry for having disgraced you, Master. And yet, I taught you everything. Assassination, combat, infiltration. You received the best training our culture D cast has to offer. You know that we have strong internal tensions with the Wan Shang Di. It's not the time for you to be out of combat for so long. I shall not be vanquished again. What really happened to you? I didn't know you were on a mission. I don't recall much. I woke up in a cave, wounded. The medical team warned me. You would have lost a large part of your memory. Indeed. But I have to leave. The commander has summoned me to his office. Oh, our revered commander. If the Socrata wishes a definite end to our internal tensions, they must replace him. You should consult your Scarabell. It has it has been switching for you to really a very important message, I believe. I'm going now. And there's your scarab. But first, I shall go pray to church. Look at that sexy lady. I'll talk to this guy first. Nartakalopak. Hi, friend. Do you know why we cybermancy priests are superior to the, to the rest? Hmm, thanks to cyber technology. Yes, that's correct. Cyber technology allows you to improve your skills, but above all else, harness mighty powers. Can you give me an example? Oh, yes. You can jump higher, run faster, and later we'll be able to get specialized sighting, the ability to cloak and resist wounds, and many other things. Tell me where I can get some of this stuff. Am I dealing with an idiot? Alright, you have to go to the clinic. In front, there's a vendor who will propose everything you dream of. But be careful, you might have to require skills and, of course, brosives. How can I get... Uh, how can I augment my cyber implants? Is this your idea of a joke? How can you not know that? You only need to consult your cyber menu. In the cyber implants tab, and you can afford, you'll be able to increase your level. Piece of cake. Damn stupid boy. Go through some levels you need that you're, 
the roof for 12. But this game is quite a bit of talking. I was gonna pray. Yes, as you, you guys are priests. Legitimate certified priests. Praying to this lady and that lady and that's a lot of ladies they pray to. Which is Gerg. Alright, let's actually go on with the game. And do what we are supposed to. Scarab. Scrab. Whatever. Good day, Master. I have an urgent message for you, beep bop boop. Who are you? I come on, Master. I am your personal Scarabell unit. I manage your business, beep bop boop, and serve you faithfully. I absolutely must relay this message. It is code red. A message? From whom? Authentication confirms it is self-recorded, Master. Sorry, I sent the message to myself. You recorded it before you last departure, Master Beep Bop Boop. Can I transfer it to you? Alright, send it so I can visual visualize it directly. By your command, Master. Transmission. No 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 Batman. And there's you. Hello. If you're reading this message, it means our last mission was unsuccessful. Something must have happened to us. Our memory must have been altered and or destroyed, as we have foreseen. I don't know what you, or rather what we have discovered during the mission, but we won't know it anymore. Classic amnesia, folks. Da, da, da. I'm going to refresh your memory so you won't make any mistakes. You, we cannot allow it. Alright, I know it must be weird to speak to oneself like this. Several months ago, Renema chose you to take part in this special unit. As you remember, the Coulters and Wands, brothers in the past, are currently in the middle of an unofficial and secret struggle. The struggle is cla claimed down. <sighs> Both our mutual fight against the Federation has intensified. It's Sagretta and therefore I has decided to take the ultimate step forward, stealing power away from our enemy. Feel free to go to the archivist if you don't remember anything concerning our organization's global history. Okay, I'll summarize. The Federation has ruled too many worlds for too long. Our superiors from the Secreta have, secret have finally decided to launch the final attack, which will allow us to seize power from them. The Secreta is going to take advantage of the chaos caused by the meta -sterm -str Stronomium Force and incessant looter raids. But let's get back to talking about the Cultures and the Wands, as well as the, the team you've been assigned to. The special task force was created for a single goal, destabilize and destroy the Wands. Renema has high expectations for you with this task. Don't be surprised, they sent us on this mission into the cave in order to find and eliminate an influential Wand mentor. We're going to continue working towards this goal while maintaining the illusion of subservience. It means that we're going to continue our fight against the Federation and a force uh, to create a veil over the activities against the Wands. Serve our commander the best you can and mistrust your mentor. According to the time lapse erased from your memory, everything must seem very odd, especially concerning your mentor. But trust me, or trust yourself at all costs. Our fight, our future depends on it. Bum, bum, bum. Master, the commander requests to see you. Make haste and meet with him. I'm going to the armory for repairs. I took part in a mission on Mars recently. Beep, bop, boop. And there's the... What's the fun off? We're staying gay. And there's the commander. Beep, bop, boop. 
interesting log quarries they have here. All graphic. Oops. Don't want to do that. Alright, let's talk to the commander. Medics told medics told me you don't remember much. I, I must say you came back here with some pretty serious wounds. Sorry about that, Cookie Chuck. We'll like this background music now. Indeed, oh, indeed, I lost part of my memory, but at least I managed to refresh a few dormant memories. I understand. I'll try to restore your memories rapidly, as we don't have a lot of time. I'm listening. We are in a delicate position since you failed your last mission, and our plans against the Wands have changed a bit. Of course. But from what I understand, the conflict seems to be coming down. It's only coming down because our forces, alongside those of the Scudder, are presently engaged in overthrowing the Federation. So, what's the situation? Our operation to overthrow the Federation has begun, but I think that our superiors at the Secreta grossly underestimated the power of our enemy. The Federal counterattack is likely to cost, to be costly to our forces. Thanks to the chaos created by the Metastere Astronomic Force, we hold the advantage. Additionally, <sighs> the endless attacks by looters on various federal planets have given us a moment to catch our breath. Well, I'm pleased to learn that our final victory is at hand. Indeed, but our mutual interest is, in fact, far from removed from this pointless war. We absolutely must find a way and, above all, reason to eliminate the wands. At the very least, we need to weaken their power base, or to make them worthless in the eyes of the Secreta. Alright. You seem to be quite reluctant. What's going on? Your own mentor, my own mentor, wishes peace then, Mr. Pesa. You're my commander, why should I listen to follow your orders? So I guess we should listen to yourself, right? So we should rat out on your mentor. My mentor wishes peace, and I admit that it plants the seed of confusion and doubt in my mind. Your mentor? We'll see about that later. Don't worry. But you joined this team to help the cultists seize power. The wands are an insult to I. In short, we must reach our goal at all costs. Time plays against us. Why such haste? Did your wounds make you drunk? You seem for yourself the things are calming down between our two factions and the Wands have become more and more victorious against the Federation lately. As you command. Alright, I'll call you on again soon. Alright, let's talk to Lucifer. Na 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 Batman. Na 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 Batman. So as you can see folks, um, you don't just run around and murder things, you you spend a good deal of time doing stuff. And there's Orakios, Orion, Oranios. This, this is going to be quite a long conversation, folks. I don't particularly have the voice for it. <laughs> Sorry about that, but um, I'll try. Lucifer, oh Lucifer. Where are you, Lucifer? I just want to talk. Actually, now I do want to talk. for you, brother. I'd like to know more about recent events. Ah, yes. Look at the information terminals in the library. There you'll find detail and information. I'd like to know about history. Ah, yes. Who are you? Ah, yes. No, I'm kidding. I am Clucifer, the archivist. I keep data, books, information, and knowledge for a group. What have you forgotten? Ah, uh, yes. Basically, this guy is pretty worthless. And we have to go back to talk to the commander, but, uh, first things first. There's Hakathy. Welcome to our job, man. It's time to make your choice. Alright, transmutation. This technique creates a clone of you who 
home equipment or systems depends on your side level. Can't afford that. Can't afford madness, evocation, or dragon. Dragon is an interesting um, skill. This technique only mastered by very few people. Implodes your enemy and teleports you where he died. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. But that's all we're going to do here, folks. Alright, medical bay. Where are guns? Let's go check out the guns first. Then I'll go to the medical bay. Metastronomic force. Dun, dun, dun. This, for the time being, is closed, and if you step through it, you die. Very unpleasant, nasty business, that. Did I really miss that? Or yes, I did. I don't know. I just don't even know anymore, people. Alright. There's Azazelus. The weapons guy. He has... A battle axe. He has a gun. Heavy handgun. Another heavy handgun, submachine gun, automatic shotgun, hunting machine, oh, sniper rifle, nice, assault rifle, assault cannon, a grenade launcher, a scarabolier, and a sentry, all of which is completely out of our price range. No, we don't have any skills. Okay, I'm quickly going to show you the other guy. The weapons, or the um, thingy stuff. The medical man, dude, guy. Looks fancy. Alright, let's talk to Osmondai. Alright, show me what you have. Alright, Eye Vision, Cyber Cloak, Sound Triangulator, Power Conversion Targeting System, Dermal Sheath, and Sensitive Wave. Nothing that we need at the moment or can afford. Uh, Cybertech. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing in our price range right now. But I'm guessing, um, probably Cyber Arms. Uh, well, actually, Cyber Legs are definitely a must. Definitely need more speed. At any rate, for now, there's not much we can do, so. We shall walk into a dead end. Alright, so... There's nothing more to do except talk to the commander and begin the next mission. Another thing I should mention about this game is that it's not point A to point B. Um, there, there's quite a bit of openness and choice and stuff, which is, which is very nice. Actually, I'm curious just how far you'll be able to... Run. Jump. Let's try this again, shall we, folks? Just out of curiosity. Ooh, boy, down the stairs, nice. No, I didn't need to turn off the hood. 
Well, we probably should turn off the legs. That's the quick wheel, by the way, folks. Alright, let's talk to the commander. Good. I have a mission for you in New Eden, Megalopolis. I'm listening. A mole in our organization has stolen the cyber brain of an important member of the Secreto. He's about to sell it to the Federation. We have learned that he plans to exchange the cyber brain with the special forces on the field. When you arrive in New Eden, our agents will have the meeting point location for you. I guess it's time to take the cyber brain and eliminate the traitor and the special forces. Maha, of course. But your mission won't end there. Because your mentor could really be interested in what the cyber brain contains. Why would he be interested? What must I do then? I want you to keep an eye on him and report any suspicious behavior from him. If we can find a way to bring about his downfall and the end of his influence, it would be perfect. As you command, get to need now. So, some bad shit's about to go down. You're about to stab the guy who taught you in the back. Oh uh, yeah. And I think this might actually be a good time to possibly end the first segment, folks, while it loads. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, bye-bye.